Well, hello and welcome to my latest video. Sorry, just pushing my glasses up there. I'm wearing the hat, yes, wearing the Kangolberry. And the reason I'm wearing the Kangolberry is because I'm doing an unboxing. Yes, what is in Julian's box? Well, I expect you're excited to find out. I'm wearing glasses, as you may have noticed. And if you've been following my trials and tribulations, you know I've had a few uh, problems with my eyes, not to the same extent as Ray Charles, but still nonetheless. So I now have a pair of reading glasses, which are these, and you're wondering why am I wearing these when I'm not reading? And I also have a pair of distance glasses, uh, which I'm not wearing, and I don't wear both of them at the same time. And having to ch keep on chopping and changing glasses is, let's face it, a bit of a faff. Not as hard as it must be for Ray Charles, let's be honest, but it's still a faff. So what am I unboxing? Well, well, boys and girls, here is the box. And I haven't actually opened the box, so I'm not sure what's in it, but I have a pretty good idea what's in it because I had an email from Every saying, we've got your chain reaction parcel and we're about to deliver it. So I think that's what this is. Now, the thing is, right, when I was, um, I was nearly going to say when I was younger, that sounds like, that sounds like the beginning of a rather poor folk song, doesn't it? When I was younger, I always wanted a pair of Oakleys, you know, because I wanted to look like Mark Cavendish. But the thing is, because my eyes are fucked, right, I've got this prescription that they couldn't put in to a pair of Oakleys. I did try, but they said it's not going to work, Julian, because the Oakleys, they curve around your face just like they do on Mark Cavendish. And your prescription is going to be all distorted and they're going to look like Guinness bottles and it ain't going to work. So I could never get a pair of Oakleys. So I thought, one of the side effects, or one of the at least benefits of having my eyes vaguely sorted is that I might be able to get a pair of Oakley. So, is that a clue to what's in this box? Not necessarily. Wait a minute, don't go away. Right, back again, I had to go and see a man about a dog. So let's get stuck into the unboxing. So we need a knife. Uh, if you're doing an unboxing, by the way, you don't need to use this knife. Uh, you can use a similar knife. I'm not sure where this knife came from. This knife has got a serrated edge, by the way. You don't need a knife with a serrated edge, but you do need a knife that has a cutting a cutting edge. So let's just put that in there. Usually when I try and do this, the knife slips and I end up kind of cutting my fingers off or something like that. So I'll try not to do that this time. Uh, let's see. And we'll put the knife in there. And uh, Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. I cut my finger. Anyway, let's so we cut right down there. Now you have to be careful when you're uh, using a knife to uncut. Uncut. You have to be careful when you're using a knife to cut a box because you don't want to cut through what might be in it. So let's say you're importing, uh, let's say a small animal, I don't know, guinea pig, something like that, uh, from South America. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but let's suppose you were. You're importing a small guinea pig from uh, uh, South America. It's in a box. You get the box. You want to do an unboxing. You stick the knife and you uh, at the end of the guinea pig. So my advice to you is, uh, A, don't stick the knife into the box, and B, probably best not to import a guinea pig from South America because you're taking it out of its natural environment, which is not always the best thing to do. Right, so inside the box we have... What do you know? A box. Now, why would you put a box in a box? And could you put a box in 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 a box? A box. Imagine, imagine if the, the, you know, the pharaohs, right? I mean, in, in Egypt, right? Pharaohs in the pyramids. Now, imagine you're, you're, you're a grave robber at the pyramids and you tunnel and tunnel and tunnel, you burst into the pyramids and what do you find? Another pyramid. So you've got to burst into that, you tunnel and tunnel and tunnel, and you get round to the centre, and what do you find? Another pyramid. So you burst into that, you tunnel and tunnel and tunnel, and you get into the centre of the pyramid, and what do you find? You find a little note saying, I fooled you, <laughs> we got here before you nicked the body. What do, what do grave robbers do with a, 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 a pharaoh? I mean, you, 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 you think, I've got, I've got the gold. You know, you're like Kenneth Noy, right? In the gold, you think, I've got the gold. And you load it into the van, right, if you're a grave robber, and you, you drive off home to your your, uh, your house in, in Cairo, and you take it out and you unwrap it. You think, what the fuck is this? Right? It's a mummified body. I thought it was gold. <laughs> Don't rob a pyramid, guys. So let's um, try and get into, into this. Right? So we've, we've slit it. We've slit it. Let's hope we haven't damaged it too much because if this turns out not to be uh, 
either if it turns out I can't wear it, okay, because it, for, for whatever reason, or what is more likely, I just look like a 66 year old knob wearing a pair of Oakleys. And I don't actually look anything like Mark Cavendish. I mean, <laughs> hold the front page, would you believe what I would not look like oh, Mark Cavendish? Now, oh, look at that, you see? Now, that is that an O? Is that an oval? It, it, it's a, probably an O for Oakley, isn't it? Well, I hope so, because if it's not a pair of Oakleys, I've been stitched up, stitched up. Now, inside. You know when that happens? Is that you see that you see that bit of plastic is, is stuck there? Now what is that called? It's not it's not kinetic energy. It's it's you know when you, you rub your hands on, on something like this and then it's, oh it's stuck to it because it's sticky. I thought it was you know not kinetic energy, but the other stuff anyway. So all right. So in in the box within the box within the box like the you know the pyramids there is a pouch and here is the pouch. All right, Julian is undoing. Julian is undoing the pouch. You see, there's an O there. You see, there's an O on the pouch, and he's removing the item. Oh, 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 oh you're thinking, Julian. That is the dog's bollocks. And if you've ever seen, right, it's the dog's bollocks wearing a pair of Oakley sunglasses, you will know exactly what this looks like. So I'm, like, I'm going to take my glasses off. And if I take my glasses off, okay, I'm not sure if I'm looking at the screen. So I could be looking over there, I could be looking over there, I could be looking directly at the screen, right? I could be looking there. And when you're, when you're using an iPhone to film, which I am, okay, the center of the screen is there, but obviously the camera lens is there, you see, and I should be looking directly at you. Yes, dear viewer, I should be looking directly at you as opposed to a little bit over there. Because if I look over there, I'm not looking into your eyes. You think, oh, look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Right, so I'm going to put these on and... <laughs> now, I can't really see what I look like, but I have a feeling there is a very faint, a very faint resemblance, not actually to Mark Cavendish, but one of the other greatest cyclists, right, Che Guevara. Right, one of the first, one of the first of the great Colombian climbers who won a couple of stages of the Tour de France, more than one, one two, I think, before he became a, a revolutionary and was in the Indian shot. Now, was he Colombian? No, actually, I think Che Guevara was from Argentina, and supported Castro during the Cuban Revolution, but was actually shot in Colombia while trying to foment another revolution. I may be wrong about that. May not be, but I think the combination of the the Samuel L. Jackson beret, the Mark Cavendish Oakley glasses, makes me look a little bit like the noted revolutionary Che Guevara. Were you one of those people, you probably need to be about my age, when you were a, a teenager, you had a poster of Che Guevara on your wall, but you weren't quite sure who he was. You thought he might have been a musician. You know, he might have been like Steve Harley, Cockney Rebel, somebody like that, Bob Dylan as opposed to a revolution. It's only later when you grew up and you found out who he actually was. So I suppose it's like nowadays, um, people have a poster of Jeremy Corbyn on their wall, do they? Well, maybe not anymore. I mean, would you have a poster of, I don't know, Liz Truss? Are there teenagers? Well, not actually not Liz Truss anymore because she's gone, but are there teenagers all over the country, right, who lie in their bedrooms on the internet looking at a poster of Michael Gove? Can you imagine that? I mean, he's not really revolutionary, but anyway. So, the Oakleys. I'm going to take these off and I'm going to put my glasses on because you want to know. What do you want to know? Um, a pair of, pair of cycling sunglasses, I suppose. Kind of pinkish, not pinkish, rose tinted. A bit hard to tell there. And you do get a separate pair of lenses. Separate pair of lenses or separate? Well, no, I suppose it's a separate pair, but they're in a... Oh, here they are. Now, I think these are photochromic. And photochromic means, you probably can't really see these because these are kind of clear, but I think photochromic means that they darken in the sunlight. So it's not going to work in the house. I'm just putting these back in here. Now these, incidentally, you want to know what these are. These are called jawbreakers. Strange name, aren't they? Why would you call them jawbreakers? I mean, you put them on, you go, actually, no, I'm wearing my glasses. Aren't I? That doesn't work. If I put them on, right, and then you, 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 your jaw suddenly goes like, oh, yeah, the jawbreakers. Okay, Junior, that joke doesn't really work. And 
I don't know what these things are, but they, they kind of block your vision. So I might have to take these off. And the thing about the oak leaves, they have these kind of round bits at the side. Do you know what that means? I don't know what that means. There is a, a gap at the top. Can you see a gap at the top? I imagine that's to allow uh, kind of warm air to escape. I don't know if you have this problem, but when I'm cycling along with, with kind of sunglasses, they're too close to your face. So you the kind of sweat and the condensation builds up. And before you know it, they're misty and you can't see anything. So I imagine that's what that is designed to achieve. Now I can't really uh, see these if I'm honest, but from what I can see, I think they look dead fucking cool. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Do you think, A, Julian looks like a knob, B, Julian looks like Mark Cavendish, or C, Julian looks like Che Guevara, or D, Julian looks like a combination of all of them. Now these are, they're not cheap. I'm going to be honest, they're not cheap. Uh, slightly more expensive because you've got this extra lens, because I like a photochromic lens. And the reason I got them is not because I like spending lots of money, but the fact is, it's my birthday. Yes, folks, it is my birthday. Uh, not too long now. If you want to send a present, you can do so. If you want to buy me a coffee, you can do so. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so. If you want to contribute to charity, you can uh, uh, watch, sit through the adverts, because that raises money for charity. But it is my birthday. So, uh, yes, happy birthday, Julian. Thanks very much for saying. Um, these were, I think, 175 quid from Chain Reaction, which is discounted because they are not... They are not cheap. Am I going to keep them? So far, yeah, I think I will. I got some cheap ones. Did I do a video? I'm not even sure I did a video, actually. I got some cheap ones, and I tried them on. I thought they looked shit. I mean, they were like 50 quid or something. So these are a lot more expensive, but I think they look dead cool. So uh, just to sum up, in case you missed it, these are a pair of Oakley Jawbreaker cycling sunglasses with an extra lens. They cost 175 quid. I think they're pretty cool. Thanks for watching. See you next time.